Hello my lovelies, I am back with another video and this time it's going to be my top 10 favourite boots for fall and winter 2017 and 18 I guess. In my previous video you guys requested this video and you wanted me to show you my kind of like I'm now ready for fall in terms of boots um, selection and I basically went in my shoe wardrobe and picked my 10 favourites that are just in a huge bag next to me right now so I basically am not gonna chat too much I want to just talk you through my 10 favorites but in order to give it a bit of a twist I decided to also invite Dushan who you guys know from my travel vlogs and he will also be marking these boots from male perspective he's not gonna sit through the whole video because he's like oh my god this is so boring but he will individually give all of the shoes a mark from 1 to 10 so that I will basically show him each pair and he will give it a mark from 1 to 10 without much commentary just like kind of his opinion from the male uh, perspective so let's get into it now Okay, so boots number one I want to talk to you guys about are ones that you actually haven't seen so far and I am talking about these military Chanel boots. These um, these are kind of like already in my wardrobe for around three months. I bought them as soon as they came out but it was too warm to talk about them and they are actually like simple military boots as you can see with a Chanel uh, logo on the toes area and they have the chain like a Chanel chain all around them with the kilting kind of like above the ankle bit as you can see they have these like pearls in the front with the Chanel logo as well but these are actually like buttons these boots you don't actually lace up you just have like a little bit of lacing which I usually tie all around my ankle and then lace them in front here you uh, buckle this up and that is it I really like them with jeans and just like whatever I like the fact that they have rubber sole and are very easy to wear um, usually 39.40 and I got these in 40 however I really could have downsized now that I'm wearing thinner socks but the idea is to wear them with much thicker so socks in the winter time and I think then they will be perfect so yeah these are basically my number one just like simple black boot for the autumn let's see what mark Dushan will give these from the male perspective one to ten yeah Three. Three? Yeah. You're like more for men than women. Like. More for men than for yeah, women? Yeah, I think so. The boots number two are, I think, the second to last ones in my collection. And I've already Instagrammed these. These are the Casa de Technoblade boots. I think these are like literally the sexiest boots there are. As you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Casa de boots. I love them so much and I think... They're just super innovative and amazing when it comes to making me feel really um, feminine and attractive and I just feel like very like much like a power woman when I wear their shoes. Um, these Technoblade boots in grey I spotted during their uh, presentation in Milan in February this year, so almost a year ago really. Well, no, that's a bit exaggerated. Half a year ago, and I immediately fell in love with them because I really am a huge fan of the blade heel, which is very, very special. I just love these. They're actually surprisingly comfortable to walk in. I spent like a good six or seven hours um, walking in them recently. I also tied them kind of similarly to the Chanel ones around the around here and then I tie them here and that is basically how I wear them. I am a huge fan and I love the soft grey color, the leather and the fact that you don't actually have to lace them up every time because this was very very clever when they designed them. So yeah, huge huge plus for these. I really love them. Um, for some reason I have a feeling that these will get 10 out of 10 from male perspective too. And I'm not often wrong about these things. Next are custom Oh, those are hot. Hot? Yeah, I would like to see girls in that, so yeah. One to uh, ten? Ten. Ten? Ten. I kind of knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one was easy. Boots number three are um, also kind of like new. When I say new, they're not really new, but they're like this season's boots. Talking about the Chloe Susanna boots that, as you can see, I wore a couple of times. They are the beige gold stud, beige and gold studs um, boots and I really like them. I got them in 39 and a half because the website said to downsize, so I downsized half a size. 
and actually a lot of you have told me that some websites say take your normal size and the others say um, it's fine to go down a size so I don't know for me 39 and a half is just perfect um, and you know I'm between 39 and 40 I have to say about these boots if you do get them get them probably in darker color because I don't know if you can see but I don't know if you can see but mine got really really dirty um, in these areas here. To be honest, I'm not a very good walker, <laughs> but the thing is though, um, I often rub my feet here and here when I'm walking. I don't know how I do that, but I sometimes even rub my ankles. Like, I, I tend to hit um, this bit and this bit a lot when I'm walking. I'm not sure how, but it happens. These are just love for traveling. I love them for um, wearing them with dresses, with jeans, with like sweaters and kind of like more boho-esque um, looks. I really like them that they're beige because I don't really have that many lighter colored boots so I think these are just fabulous for autumn. Let's see how they serve me. Let's see what Dushan has to say about them. Three. Three? Yeah. Okay, I see it on your face. Next pair of boots is a pair that you guys could probably imagine is gonna be in this video and that's my new pair of Louis Vuitton flat boots with monogram. I also have a similar pair of boots with high heel, the Star Trail by Louis Vuitton and I would have mentioned them in this video but they're kind of like now old for me so I was like between the two because they're pretty similar I decided to go for these. I love them both and they will both be equally worn um, for me during this autumn winter just for different occasions. This would be more like everyday traveling and stuff like that and then the high heeled version would be mine effortless evening look. Um, I'm gonna insert the picture here in case you don't know which one I'm talking about but anyway I love them both equally and uh, Louis Vuitton is definitely like one of my absolute favorite brands as you guys could have probably noticed recently so I just had to include these. Very very curious to hear Dushan's opinion. You have some similar, similar ones, with, yeah. with heels, yeah. yeah. With heels 7, those one Mm, five. Five. Four or five. Five. Let's go. Five. Yeah. Let's go with five. Okay. Okay. So the next pair I really want to talk to you guys about is probably one of my favorite pairs of heels for um, autumn winter, and I'm talking about these Jimmy Choo beautiful, beautiful um, shoes in green python with like a crystal ankle bracelet. I would say what I love about these shoes. Is first of all the fact that they're so comfortable. I walked in them during the London Fashion Week one day it was like from 9 to 6 and I still didn't feel any pain in my feet which was I think amazing and second of all what I really love um, these shoes for is the beautiful beautiful work and the design of them. I actually am planning to wear them throughout the whole autumn winter I just have to resole them to put a leather sole and a little like um, here toe cap kind of thing um, just have to take them to the cobbler. Mine are in size 40 so I would definitely if you are like between sizes go up the size because of the zippy bit at the back you kind of want to be comfortable when you do it. So um, that is it. Jimmy Choo's done these in many many colors and different finishes and kind of more of like a rock and roll styles as well. I have another pair in grey which I love as well but this pair I wore a little bit more I think. I'll try and insert some pictures as well. I love them, I love the emerald colored python and I'm just very excited, very very excited to wear these throughout autumn winter. They're probably one of my absolute favorite heels that I own at the moment so yeah very excited to hear what you guys think and um, to hear what Dushan thinks now. As everything else I will link them in the description box below because I think they're just spectacular. Mm. Should I explain or just to say? Whatever you like. Five. Five? Yeah. Why? These are heels. I thought you were I gonna know, like they're them. Like, they, they're like strange. Strange? Yeah, with that like hole. Here? Yeah. Don't you think it's kind of sexy? No. No? Okay. No. Okay, so um, the next boots that I want to talk to you guys about are my Balenciaga knife over the knee boots. Of course I had to have at least one pair of over the knee boots in this collection or um, top 10 favorite autumn boots video and these are just very special to me because first of all I love the Balenciaga knife boots and second of all this model is like red and over the knee, not even over the knee, it's more like a tie high. Um, they have these like this elastic band which kind of goes 
literally um, just next to my underwear basically they're very very high which is why as well I love them because if you wear them with mini dresses they look as if you're wearing these like long pant boots almost very warm and very amazing I would say they're also very comfortable but probably not as comfortable as my ankle boot version and the reason why these made it to my top 10 rather than the other one is because for some reason I feel like I got my black ankle knife boots like three months ago or maybe even more I think three or four months ago and I was very very excited about them then and I still wear them and I still wore them so much however after that time I feel like a bit everyone got the black version of them and now I'm like mm, should have gotten a different color or a different print because now I'm seeing them a little bit everywhere and I don't really mind having something that everyone else has but it's more of a fact that it becomes too repetitive seeing it for you guys and I want to be inspiring and I want to bring you different things and I show, want to show you how to style differently things so um, yeah I guess that's why I will be wearing the red version a little bit more I love them I think they're fabulous they're very different and I'll sh try and insert some pictures of how I wore them as well so hopefully you will like that as well as they're very different to the rest of the boots, they're very trendy, very fashion, I'm not sure at all what to think and what Dushan will think about them. So let's have a look. Balenciaga knife tie high boots. Oh, I love those. I love those. You ten, love them? Ten, definitely. Ten? Ten. ten? You love them more than anything else so far? Well, they're like uh, the same as uh, those uh, grey. Yeah, those ones. They're ones. like yeah. close by. Yeah. You think these are hot? I didn't know you yeah. would think these are hot. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think all the other boots that I've got left next to me here are the old season boots. So kind of like classics or boots that I just want to wear again this season even though I got them either last season or many many seasons ago. The next pair of boots that I want to speak to you about, wow these really need some dusting off. And these are my Balenciaga, I think they're called like something like Centurion boot or Centurion, I don't know, I'm not even really sure. But these boots I'm sure you've seen like millions of times before. When I bought them they were in really high demand. I think I bought them in 2014, quite a while ago, or maybe even 13? Hmm, now that I'm thinking I'm not sure, but many many years ago. I've had them for a long time and these boots are just like everywhere. They come in every color now as well. Um, pretty simple and easy to wear. I love wearing them with jeans and to be honest I love wearing them without sock because then you can show the kind of like a bit of skin here. Again kind of rub them here a lot but it's good because they're in black and you can't really see them. The bad thing about them is that I would say they're not very comfortable. Both my friend Noor and I have them and we were both like oh my god I still have blisters from these like three or four years on. I don't always get blisters from them but usually when I wear them without socks or with a very thin sock I get that thing when your sock comes down because they're very heavy so they keep pulling the sock and then they give me blisters which is so sad because I love them and I think they're so pretty. Love wearing them with jeans and sweaters and things like that and I think they're super super cool. But yeah they're one of my favorite flat black ankle boots. Then we have the Oh my god one <laughs> zero zero <laughs> what are those? Wait can I see <laughs> Boots. Yeah. For like winter, autumn. Yeah. But while they are like having holes, <laughs> it's like you put on a, a, a pink sock and. <laughs> yeah, everyone can see through. Yeah. Why? It's fashion, baby. The next boots I bought last winter, so they're only like one season old, and they are the Chloe. I forgot the name of these. I um I, I wore these boots quite a lot, which is what you can see on the state of them. They're not looking very pristine, but I think also that's their charm. They're the boho vibe boots, you tie them all around here as well, and they look pretty cool, I think. The heel is medium size, and I love the like a golden, almost like khaki color effect. They go really, really well with like white jeans or um, kind of like lighter colored outfits which is why I think they're so 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 easy to style throughout autumn and winter especially autumn in fact because I think 
winter time gets a bit cold around this area. Bad thing about them is that you can't really wear them with a sock because if it's a black sock or a white sock you can see it here but you can probably wear them with some sort of like nude tights. Um, these are in size 40, I got them in a sale and I was very very happy about that. I wore them a lot, I walk around a lot in them because the heel is extremely comfortable. They come in all sorts of size, um, styles and high heel heights and letters and colors and even velvet I think so I think they're very versatile they also come with a zipper here so you can like you don't have to tie this whole thing here um, yeah I think they're very very cute with boho dresses as well springtime so huge plus for that and let's hear what Dushan thinks about these because they're not exactly your classic boot are they Okay. It's like socks. <laughs> no, two. 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 Okay. And they seem old. Old. Yeah. And I like, think they're old. Yeah. They're old. Yeah. Last but possibly my most worn of the last year are my Givenchy ankle boots um, that I just love so much, so much that they're literally killed almost. Um, basically they're kind of heavy. Whatever they got inside. Oh, like they've got the weights. So. I wanted these not last year but the season before last and they were completely sold out. I looked everywhere, they were so hard to get, they were basically impossible to find in my size. Everywhere I went people were like, ha 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 no. So I got them last spring sort of, almost like, well actually yeah, spring summer, like in May, June when they just dropped as for the fall. They're quite dusty, I have to dust them off because obviously they've been sitting on the shelf for a long time. I just love these because of the many, many studs around. I think they're so easy to style. I love wearing them with skinny jeans for traveling, skinny jeans, and then a huge, big, chunky coat, like a bear coat or something like that, like one of those like teddy bear coats, you know? And they just make every outfit look so like rock and roll. You can even wear them like with this thing open so they look a bit more like effortless and cool rock and roll um, or you can kind of like uh, belt it all together. The only downside of these boots is that high street brands made a lot of dupes, a lot of copies, but then that's a good thing as well because it means that even people who can't afford these boots can have something similar. Me personally, I don't really mind that because what I care about is what I'm wearing and if there are dupes and things for people who can actually then afford something that looks like this. Um, it's a plus, like then everybody wins and people who want to wear something similar but can't necessarily afford boots that cost thousand pounds can still wear something similar and I think that's absolutely fine. So for me that's not a problem, they are definitely going to be very very much worn this season as well. How about these? They're like made for elf, I don't know. Why? Like a cowboy, yeah. you ride a unicorn with those. <laughs> It's like cowboy, but they have like I don't Studs. know. No, 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 I don't. No, like. what's the what's the verdict? Five. Five? Yeah. Not even a six? No. Okay, that's it. That's it. One last question for you. I can. Since you've given everything either three, five, or ten, what should a girl wear on an everyday basis during winter, considering that that's an evening heel? What about during the day? You can like put it. Yes, it's tie high. Those definitely. What about during the day? During the day? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, well, well, well. Those one are like the best. What would be your ten? It's not hot. Can you find in my wardrobe anything for you that's like ten for okay, day? Wait. So? Well, maybe these ones. Yeah. But I. I think there I are diesel that black you didn't gold. Wear them. For a long time. It's because it was summer! <laughs> anyway, these are these are like gold cowboy boots that I actually really like. So, what would you mark them out of 10? 7. 7 out of 10. Seven. Okay. There you go, you have 7. Thank you. Anyway, guys, you should follow Dushan to look at some of our travel videos in case you haven't seen him <laughs> before in mine. Thank you, guys! Okay, so that was it with my top, I think, 10. I think it was 10 boots for autumn winter season. Thank you so much for watching. I really really appreciate um, all the support and I hope I'll see you soon in my next video. If you have any any requests for autumn winter please let me know in the comments below and I will see you soon. Bye guys!